Blanca's back. <laughs> but popular request. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the, the naysayers uh, were outvoted. Uh, okay, enough about that. We did come back to the model table yesterday evening and uh, finished up our ladder. We'll uh, put the macro lens on after and have a nice cl close look. But uh, Oh, as far as the uh, sunrise this morning goes, it, it should have been appearing in this screen right here. It's, it's either the bird feeder or the sunrise, depending on how I have the camera adjusted in the backyard. You know, there there is very little difference. If, 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 I, if I zoom back on, on this screen right here, I can actually see the top of the bird feeder. I mean, it's that's 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 where we're looking. Now, the there the sunrise did not happen this morning, but what I am planning to do is I'm going to take yesterday's sunrise and today's sunrise and have them running at the same time, one on top of the other. But I'll I'll put it probably at the end of today's episode. So, uh yeah, we won't bore you with that for people that don't like to watch the sunrise. Uh, I just like to do stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, where are we going here this morning? Let's, let's roll back and see how it is we got to this place. Okay, continuing right along here this evening. And yes, it is this evening. I did not come back to the model table this afternoon. Now, here's the thing. We were sort of talking about this earlier. If we have this ladder at the right angle to, to match up with the railing that goes up the ladder, the, uh, the back stair part, the, ba the bottom of the treads, or the stringers, come right up against this thing. You can't, you can't see it. But they're up against it. I, I don't think that's that's too believable. I'm, I'm going to try and do a happy medium here and have a little closer. But if if I do, I'm going to want to have the treads at a steeper angle. Otherwise, when you'd step on it, you'd have a tendency to want to you know s slide off of it. So I'm just going to rebend those before we paint this. Okay. Now I don't want to bend these right around to 90 degrees. I imagine they can only be bent a certain amount and then they're going to break off. I, I would think that that would be about right. It doesn't take very much. You know what? Maybe I'll put the macro lens on for the last four. Now when we look at the the stringers like this parallel, you can see that they're 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 not uh, they're not parallel. Um, you don't notice it when you look at them like this. Now I think I had said something about the we do the last the last three or the last four rather, but it's, it's really only the last three that have to be that have to be adjusted and uh, okay so th this one is right I'm wondering if I got these wrong that way, that way that way, that way, that way. This one and now the last one. I have to be so careful with these. Okay. Now there there are a lot more uh the way a ladder would be, but I want to see if I can't maybe 
put some kind of a twist on this and straighten it up. Or is it just going to all of a sudden collapse on me there? I think I pretty much got it. Now one of those treads doesn't look right. The third one down from the top doesn't look right. Okay, well it is now. Now if you remember, <coughs> last time I did a ladder, um, I put it in the ultrasonic cleaner so the paint would stick to it better and then one of the one of the treads actually broke off from the vibration. Now it looks like okay now I've got the I've got the uh, the stringers parallel to each other but the treads they, they almost look like the whole thing should be skewed this way on the top. I don't know if I can do this or am I going to once again like I say, just collapse everything. Oh, I went too far. Okay, that's... That tick you heard, that was my light. My spotlight. Okay, there. I think I pretty much got it. I think I got it there. Okay, let's let's quit while we're ahead and, uh, and carefully paint this now with the number 77. Okay, here's the plan. Now, I've got to be able to hold on to these things somehow while, while I'm brushing them. And... Uh, I'm thinking that most likely uh, if I was to hold on to them at the top here and then after the ladder is glued into place then just just have to brush the, the top of the railing where the, where the tweezer is. Now I'm thinking this might go in here like this. Now it, it could be it won't either. Maybe I should be using a thinner tweezer. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to get a, a different tweezer here. Maybe, maybe these ones will work. And then I'll use one of those wooden blocks to hold it tight. Now very, very gently here. Now we don't want to. I don't have to re-straighten everything. Okay, like that. Okay. Now, whoops. No, don't let go of it. Where are those blocks? Okay. I guess it's kind of awkward to try and do this on camera, isn't it? Okay. Now you can see what I'm going to be able to do here. Okay, let's recompose and get this painted. Oh, I don't know. Did, did I mention that this paint, uh, the it's uh, it's been thinned out, and I think the X stands for the uh, paint retarder so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes now I, I can't remember did I say that before already or did I just think I wanted to remember to say it oh boy okay the idea is if I keep it just above the Tamiya lid here uh, it should be in the field of view and in focus because I have a tendency to go wandering off now I, I shook this up real good in the paint shaker a few minutes ago, so it should be good. All right. Now I don't think that's going to come out of there. And um, it's probably going to take, uh, well for sure, two coats because this stuff is fairly thin. 
So we're just going to sort of flood it on, you might say. And I'll, I'll rely on the fact that the, you know, there's going to shrink wrap after. be holding it at a good angle for you but we've got to remember that this is only going to be seen from the from the top sort of brush here. Now the bottom of the treads, they're not going to be seen, but we're going to do it anyway. And the only part of the railing I want to have to do later is just where the tweezers, you know, touch there. Now it's, it's, it's a little bit thick there just at the edges of the tread, so I'm just trying to get some of that off. Now we should this this part that I'm painting now on the on the railing, we should be able to get that later, but How does that look for the first coat? Actually, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, I'm seeing a little bit down here on the bottom of this stringer here. Not that we're going to see that anyway. All right, let's let that dry and uh, we may not have to give it another coat. No, we may not have to. Okay, I think we've looked at it enough. Okay, here's what's happened. I have given it its second coat and I've removed the tweezer, as you can see. But we've got this little bit of uh, glint here that we want to get rid of. And I had said that I was going to glue it onto the onto the uh, superstructure and then paint this afterwards. But I thought I'm going to try and paint this now and get it over with, and then I'll have a, a chance to dry overnight. I don't think I'll need to give it two coats if I liberally put it on. My problem is, as you can see, I just barely touch it, and it's going to want to move around on me. So we're going to try and rig something up here. You know, I like to rig up jigs. So I'll use one of Tennessee Jim's mini Q-tips. And then on this part here, well, I don't think this is going to hurt the, the treads. Just very gently, okay. Now, it, it shouldn't move around. At least that's the plan. Yeah, that, that's going to work. Okay, it's kind of coasting around though, isn't it? Okay. Hey, come back here. All right. Now, if I if I put it on fairly fairly thick here, I shouldn't need to put on two coats. Yeah. 
Now this is so relaxing. Don't need to worry about my compressor. You know, you know what I do feel bad about though is, you know, uh, our friend Tony gave us so many wonderful tips on airbrushing and now I'm not airbrushing. Kind of almost like a slap in the face and I sure don't mean to do that. I, I will once again say an airbrush will do a much better job. Okay, let's let that dry. Okay, our little paintbrush is cleaned for next time. There we go. We'll just leave that for overnight and I'm sure it's going to be thoroughly dry in the morning. And in the morning we will put on the macro lens and have a nice close look. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and right at this moment, there's a fellow running around with one of those skid steer uh, tractors, front end loader type thing, just a little one. He's doing something next door at the neighbors. So I don't know what the noise is gonna be like here as I'm trying to work. Anyway, let, let's put the macro lens on, and as I promised, we'll have a nice close look here. Okay, now I don't know if you can see it here or not, but uh, if you look at the sides of the stringers, you you will notice that. Let me swing it around here. It it looks like what the 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 brush here filled in the, uh, the those little details. Now the the airbrush would not have done that. Um, you know, I I just want to. I, I don't think I can emphasize enough that the uh, if you want to do a real good job, uh, don't don't do what I do. Do what I say. Uh, <laughs> in other words, use use your airbrush if you've got one. And if you don't have one, well then then you can use a paintbrush. And as you can see, it does kind of work. Anyway, let's get this ladder in place. Okay, I'm trying to have this adjusted so that you can see it, and I can see it, and the spotlight can see it. When I use the macro lens, I almost always use the spotlight because the macro lens requires a lot of light when it's stopped down. And I'm using Tony's tweezers here because I don't want to chip the paint off of the railing with the metal ones. Now something like this, this, this is just sort of a dry run you might say. Now I want to have the, I want to have the, the bottom of the ladder where it's touching the platform far enough back so that it looks like uh, somebody could have, uh, where's that little 1-200 scale man that I made? Okay, I finally found it. Good thing I can cut out the dead spots. Okay, now this thing is, is machined to be six feet tall. In other words, uh, the height that I used to be. And if we, if we put myself right there, you can see where, yeah, I could probably grab hold of the railing, sort of swing myself around and uh, shinny up the ladder. I don't do any shinnying anymore. Um, I think the base could maybe go in just a little bit more yet. Now remember, we're just doing a dry run here. Yet on the other hand, if it works out, maybe I could put a little bit of, uh, are those treads bent the wrong way? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh, 
Oh, for heaven's sakes, I bent them the wrong way. Now, I don't know if I can... Okay, we are back. I can't believe I did that. Uh, I bent the treads approximately another, I'm guessing, 45 degrees. So they're, <laughs> they're more believable now. All right. Now we've got our little man over here. He's just adju adjusted one of the spotlights and he's coming back. Can he squeeze himself through there? Yeah, he, I can see where he can sort of vault himself over. Okay. Uh, and there, there may have been another railing on top, on top of this, you know, splinter guard. I don't know. Uh, because it, as, oops, because as you can see, it's it's not it's not very high. Well, I guess if if, if you're six feet high, the uh, splinter rail comes up. Uh, that doesn't seem right to me. Somehow, I would think that this splinter rail would be would be higher than that. Anyway, let's. Uh, See now if we can't get a little tiny bit of CA extra thin right at the top there, just to sort of hold it in place. I don't think I'll bother doing the bottom. Okay, this is the uh, Bob Smith in Industries Instacure. Oh, I started to shake there. Well, at least I didn't squirt it all over the place. Okay, the ladder's not quite where it was, but you know what? It's, it's almost more believable where it is. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I'll... I'll use this finger this time to steady myself. Or, or maybe I won't bother with the finger at all. I'll just, I'll just slowly squeeze here. Now I was just looking in my in my monitor a moment ago and it, it appears that the the top of the stringer is it looks too high now I don't think I can pull this out now I can pull it out and have it slide down just a little bit Doesn't want to slide back. I'm afraid if I end up trying it like this so that I can push down. You know, I'm wondering if I maybe should have used CA medium instead of the extra thin because it's. I would have thought that would have been a little bit more stiff than it is. Now, well, let's just leave well enough alone here. I'm going to see if I can put a little bit of CA medium on the top there. Okay, did I mention the tractor is in my driveway now? running down the tree. Oh, it wasn't supposed to do that. Well, maybe it'll kind of wick its way into the back. Um, yeah. 
it, it might be okay. We are a little bit later winding it up here this afternoon. And in all likelihood, today's episode will not be in 4K at the beginning because I'm going to be uploading it so late. Yeah, I got busy doing other things this morning. I went, uh, uh, took the car and picked up my neighbor's groceries and, <laughs> and then was do, uh, doing other stuff. And then I messed around with the, with the uh, sunrise time lapse, which is going to start in a, just a few seconds here. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. The, I don't know if I mention it or not, but the two sunrises are running at the same time, pretty much to the second. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got, got, got a kick out of trying to get everything to sync up and ha I had to resize everything. And yeah, it's, uh, like I keep saying, that, that's a lot of fun for me. So, no, I did waste a lot of time doing it, but maybe the time wasn't wasted. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and all being well, we'll be seeing you back here tomorrow. Now as for our sunrises here, which have been sped up 100 times, the one on the bottom is today's. It started out quite nice, it looked very promising, but then it sort of dwindled out you might say. Whereas yesterday's it was pretty bland until the sun actually broke the horizon and then it looked pretty nice. Thanks for watching everybody.